our language is one, not Arabic, not English, not Spanish, it's just music. So when you speak the same language and you feel each other through this same language, you build a family. experience because you get to meet a lot of people from different countries, different cultures and you get the chance to actually teach uh, traditional folk music from your own country. Ethno is very different from other musical gatherings. This is one of those places or those events which not only gives you new dimension for your music but also to be more humble towards everyone, towards my own culture, towards every other culture I uh, come across with and I see myself changing a lot. <laughs> uh, we exist, we're thriving and surviving. Many people talk to me about it and we talk about like what, especially in like the languages that have feminine masculine endings on them and like what pronouns and yeah, it's, it's been really sweet to just like support each other and being like, oh, would you say this or would you say this? There's, there's queer, non-binary, gay, trans, whatever, people everywhere. We've always been here, we always will be here and it's beautiful to coexist with everybody. It's an amazing feeling um, to know that um, despite the different languages and the different cultures and we look different and sound different, music is universal. And for us to all indulge in each other's culture, I think it's beautiful and it's what the world needs. As a member of the LGBTQ community, I feel like the ethno has been re really great at including, including queer voices, um, especially when I, I've been to other music camps where it's not always taken into consideration, especially like as a non-binary individual. Um, housing choices are not always very flexible. Oftentimes it's split, like here's the men and here's the women, but at, at ethno, both here and I've been to one in Sweden, they give the option of like having your own room or having a multi-gender sleeping arrangement, which has been really nice to see. We need more allies. We need more people to know who we are and that we are still here and that we've never that we've always been here. The more conscious we are of ourselves and the people around us, you know, like who knows what kind of change that could that could that could spark. I mean look at us now. This big collective collective of cultures making each other aware of who we are. And when something goes wrong in one part of the world, we might think of that one friend that we know that lives there. And then that creates its own, I guess, compassion and consciousness for a place that isn't, a home that isn't even yours, but you know that belongs to your good friend in that part of the world. Don't you let me, don't you let me, don't you let me go.